Hello, it's me again. What's on my mind, part two. Full disclosure, whatever I say in this video, it doesn't apply to all white people, nor do it apply to all black people. So I just want to put that full disclosure out there. And today we're going to continue on racism. It's nothing I'm saying today that we all don't know as um, a black race. We all see this. We all know this. But I still want to speak on it. Because it's like our black race is waiting and sit around waiting for the government to do something or put policies and law in place to come back or change what's going on in this country with racism, it's not going to happen. Why is it not going to happen? Because they don't want to. They want this country to remain the same or worse. And the only law they're putting in place is laws to find way to get rid of black people. It's never any law they're putting in place to truly help black people. They say they are, but they are not. Let's let's look at it. every day you watch the news. You see that these cops are killing black people left and right with impunity. And just go home free or get a slap on the wrist. Nothing else. Every day we see it over and over and over again. The thing is that they try to let us believe that they want to do better when they write law and put law in place. Let's look, let's talk an instance for your voting rights. That law was put in place for black people to be able to stand up and speak for themselves and vote. But do you see how much time they amend the voting law? They put law in place with reservation to know that they could amend it and change it if they feel that like black people are excise, exercising their right to these law that they put in place. Now they're suing because they want voting um, um, area to be closed down. They don't want a, um, a certain amount of voting um, precinct in certain area. They're making it more difficult for you to vote or you have limited option or if you're a felony, you can't vote. All these amendments that they're putting in place to make sure we can't utilize these just law that they claim they put in place for us to be able to exercise our constitutional rights, right? So they always going to amend it. Every time you look, they're suing and they're trying to amend and change these law. If someone is online standing up and you give them water, you could get arrested. You know, all these stupid law that they um, implement in and amending the original law. Because they don't want to give us any rights to do anything. And everything they put in place, they already have a contingency plan to amend it later on. If you feel like it's not working the way they want it to work to stop black people from certain privilege and for us to exercise our right. <clears throat> Let's look at this for a second. For instance, let's go back a little bit. When President Clinton was in office, they impeached him. They say they impeach him because of his sexual indiscretion, right? That's what they said. But really, in fact, that's not the reason they impeached him. They impeached President Clinton because they felt he was the closest to a black president as a white man. And they wanted him out of office. They were going to do anything to get him out of office. If you think about it, his sexual discretion, indiscretion didn't have nothing to do with his ability to run this country or to implement law. In this country, the only reason they wanted him out was because they felt he was the closest to a black president will get. That's why they wanted him out. Now you forward to right now. So you could see and understand that it wasn't about no sexual indiscretion while they impeach him. We have Trump. 
that is running for president right now, okay? Trump, who induced an insurrection on the Capitol, waged a domestic war in this country, giving away top secret of this country, carelessly stealing records from the White House, part of the white supremacists, have his own cult group, wage a domestic racist war and the people of this country, have all these felony charges against him, and he is still out there walking free, still in the run to become president. And people out there are still voting for him to be president. What more disgusting than people is voting for him to be president. A lot of black people are still voting for this man to be president. And their excuses, oh, he, he passed a lot of um, some laws that, you know, help them. Them. The one them that has money, the black one them that has money. But y'all black people who feel that those law, your conscience has to be your guide. Because sometimes it's not about the law he passed to make you money, but more about morally, moral standard and morally what is right. And sometimes people can't see that because all they think about is their pocket. But for those people, their conscience has to be their guide. It's crazy. I thought to be a president, you have to have moral character. Honest dealings. The basic stuff to run this country. If I should have a complaint against me or get arrested, I lose all my license. If I don't lose them or they revoke, they're suspended. There's people who are basic people, basic business people, basic entrepreneur that has that is hold to a higher standard, moral standard than Trump, who's running for president. So at this point, this country has no morals if that's the person they're trying to put in office. Let's talk about this law that they also put in place to give white people the license to kill off our black people. And tell them they could do that with impunity. And they are doing it. They're exercising that right. Let's take a look at the stand your ground law. That's another law they give to white people so they could give them the free will to kill black people. The stand your ground law says. You have the right. To defend yourself. If you feel that you're in danger or your life is at risk. Yes, but that's their little cue. The white people that know the cue that these law um, present, it's a silent cue that they know that we don't know. Because when they put that stand your ground law in place, you best believe there's contingency and plan to adjust it as convenient if it will affect a white person. Now they're saying with all these cops that's killing black people every day, and they use, they were afraid of their life or they feel like their life was in danger. Even when we're not doing anything, that's their excuse. A cop could come kick your door in, come inside your house, kill you if they see you move or they say you move or they say you try to get a weapon, which that's not the kind of um, stand your ground law. They're not in, in, in immediate danger, but... They'll kill you and walk free. And what it says, they're doing their job. That, that's what said. They're doing their job. So if the stand your ground law is to protect yourself and your family, if you're in fear of your life, 
Why is it not okay if a cop break into my house and I don't know who it is and I scare and I defend my family or myself and kill one of them? Why don't that same lie law apply to me for me to walk? Because I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job just like they're doing their job. I'm doing my job is to protect myself and my family. Your job is no different from my job. I have a job just like you have a job. But if I kill you doing my job, according to the same stand your ground law, I'll be sent to prison. I will not walk free. But that cop could use the same law kill you, walk free. Even when these videos surface clearly that we weren't doing anything wrong and they were not indeed not in fear of their life, they still walk because they said they were doing their job. So that's another law that they put in place to tell white people to eliminate black people. And don't worry, we got you. Even though they make some minor tweak to this law right now, it doesn't really matter. Their minor tweak don't mean nothing. They, when something happened, all the government them do, they pass some bullshit law. Okay, let me throw this out there for the black people, for them to feel better that we're putting some law in place to stop all this. But that's all they do because you know what? They already has reservation as to how to amend it. Later on, when it suits them, or when it's convenient for them, or when it needs to be changed to protect the white people, they will amend it. They always amend law. All these laws that you see put in place, do you know how much time these laws get amended? Because they're not truly law that they put in place to help black people or to protect black people. So when they pass these law and, and, and just throw them out there at black people for us to feel good, to let them think that, okay, yes, we're doing something. They're doing something. No, they're not doing anything. That's just their way of shutting us up and think they give us a little bone. So everything is good. That's it. Because I guarantee you, I can't do the same thing the white men them do and get away with it. No black people could do that. We can never do what the white people do and get away with it. So for my black people, most of the time we're right, even when they pull us over. But they're just waiting for us to say or do something for them to execute us. You can't bring your life back when they do it. You can't bring your life back. And, you know, I'm not going to say that all crime taking place in this world is, is, is in the hands of a white person. Yes, I do know there's black and black crime. And they're quick to tell you, oh, it's black and black crime. And they also tell you white life matters too. But with the black and black crime, if a black person kill another black person, self-defense or not, he's been sent to jail. So the big difference is when a black person kill a black person, he's going to prison. But when a white person kill a black person, he's not going to prison. And if he do get any kind of sanction, it's going to be something real like a slap on the wrist. So next time, be humble. Be humble for the moment. Be humble and think about your family and your loved ones at the moment. There's other way that we could address this issue. Oh, I may still don't get anywhere, but you will retain your life and walk away with your life. And I'm not saying that everyone that complies still don't lose their life because we see that it still happens. But an effort try is better than an effort that was not tried. That's what I want to say today. That's what's on my mind. Peace.